Here lies the dead body of Pokemon Masters EX. I'm not dead, you fuck! He was a great man with an even greater name. I can't believe they made Pokemon Masters sex real. Pokemon Masters EX is probably the most odd Pokemon game ever made. Instead of trying to capture Pokemon, you throw money at animated women and hope they become your friend. Every single Pokemon trainer from all your favorite games are here. Gold, Silver, Ruby, Sapphire, Scarlet, and Violet. Everyone is here! The game is about building, battling, and collecting trainers in the most colorful way possible. Microtransactions! Oh, I love microtransactions! Funny story, it's the reason why my wife left me. Pokemon Masters is categorized as a gacha game. Basically, it's a cute, quirky casino where you may or may not develop my favorite pastime, a gambling addiction! In order to get characters in Pokemon Masters, you must buy these things called gems and use them to summon on banners. And there are two types of banners, the basic virgin loser gem banner, EW! Or the Chad Majestic Paid Gem Banner. Paid gem banners can only be summoned with, you guessed it, gems you bought with your own physical money. And yes, it's as scummy as you think it is. Paid gem banners have a lot more bang for your buck and give you better rewards that boost your character's power level by a lot. And by god, there's so many ways to buff a character. The game says that both banners have the same summoning rate, but I don't buy it for a single second. I don't have any proof of this statement, but trust me, bro. Why don't you back it up with a source? My source is that I made it the fuck up. There are over 50 things you can buy in this game, and all of them are just gems. Daily gems, weekly gems, monthly gems, story quest gems. There are so many gems bundles how much money do you need but if you can ignore all of that pokemon masters is one of the most interesting story based games in the pokemon multiverse but sadly it's hidden behind all this annoying dialogue shut the fuck up Pokemon Masters EX delivers on one thing and one thing alone. It's very well-written stories. Kinda. This game gives justice to side characters the mainline Pokemon games have never given any love towards. They gave side characters who we haven't seen in over 10 years amazing storylines, great character moments, and made the villains actually fun to listen to ramble about their weird goals. The game wants you to develop a parasocial relationship with these characters. And honestly, I have. Reading the characters' stories or listening to them talk about what they like to eat, how they train, or what their favorite Pokemons are, it's kinda fun. Oh my god, I'm so lonely. But all this comes to a grueling pause when you actually play the game. And holy Arceus, the gameplay sucks But There are two major issues with the game. The gameplay is boring as hell, and the visuals suck ass. I mean, what the hell am I actually doing in this game? 90% of the time, auto mode knows how to play the game better than I do. Yes, yes, I know I'm supposed to read these character synopsis, but it's so boring. I just put in my strongest characters, and they just wipe out any event. I can get into the nitty gritty of it, like what are nukers, what are synergies, what are weather teams, but all of it is just boring. Four years ago, Pokemon Pokemon Masters released their first trailer ever, and it was hype! Free Pokemon game that I could play as any of my favorite Pokemon trainers? Sign me the f*** up! <laughs> breathe, Aspen, breathe! And then I started playing the game. Because I'm a sophisticated Pokemon fan, and I consume every single Pokemon product ever released, I thought clicking random buttons was fun. But then I woke up and went, no. No habla espanol. The game is bad not just because it's boring, but there isn't a solid hype matchup, no fun turn-based combat, a weird world exploration system, and the issues just keep piling on top of each other, and it just wasn't fun to play. And after two weeks of playing, majority of the player base just packed their bags and went to buy Moo Moo Milk. Haha. <laughs> Pokey buttons. You can beat everything in the game in less than a week, and there's nothing left to do. Nowadays, there's a lot more content, like a crazy amount of story and fun difficulty modes. And without a PvP mode or a good co-op experience, there really isn't much to do, and it's because of the gameplay stuff. You build a team of three and take on challenges, but the game just sucks. There really isn't much the developers can do with this style of game, and it really sucks to see a free Pokemon game slowly die off. But that doesn't mean the developers aren't trying. From adding an interesting story mode to a dating simulator, I'm not kidding, there is a literal dating simulator in the game, which means we can finally take out Cynthia on a date who used to be our ass as children. There's also one more issue. Remember a few years ago when the Pokemon company came out with a formal statement saying they're gonna be working on animations and making the game look a lot more polished? Yeah, apparently this game did not get that notice because wow, this is ugly. Anyone with two brain cells and a slightly working eyeball can tell you the animations in this game look bad. I don't just mean the battle animations, but the story mode visuals are so bad. For instance, look at this battle between Giovanni and Silver, where it's supposed to be this intense battle of father and son, but instead it's just... The game can still do so much to improve, like add a great PvP mode or great co-op experience and maybe animate the story mode. With this style of gameplay, the developers can't really do much. And it seems like Pokemon Masters EX is destined to fail. But if you want to just collect Pokemon trainers and go on dates with them, this is the perfect game where you can master the art of dating. 
Oh my god, is that why it's called Pokemon Master 